it's Saturday. Um, it's December 15th, 2023. Um, I'm still on crutches. I'm, I can't stand by the TV right now, so I'm going to have to try this a little differently. I mean, I can see when I look in the mirror. Um, again, I don't know if it's my thymus that's affected, that's causing all of this. Um with my balance being off and my electrolytes being so far off. I've been watching a lot of Dr. Pohl, who's a veterinarian in Michigan. And while um, I'm not a candidate for animal organ donation or transplant of any kind, I'm listening for how his, he has this um, fair that he goes to in Michigan called a 4-H, um, which again, being in New York City, I've never even heard of. Um, I'm watching something else called Aerial America uh, by the Smithsonian, where they itemize out a history of each state. Um, they had a series, I taped them so I could watch them and rewatch them, um, because again, memory being whatever it is at the moment. Um, and then I'm watching also the ABC Channel 7 News. Um, they made an announcement, and I don't know how to report on this other than just sourcing what they're displaying at me and just making a notation of it while I'm in this condition. Um, they have... They had Swazi, Thomas Swazi, as the New York District 3 representative um, for this area. So the television uh, says, then the Swazi sticker came down and they put in somebody by the name of George Santos, which again, uh, between what I've been learning is a whatever between the whatever, 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 watching Star Trek now for the first time ever, um, and then watching whatever, um, some of the U.S. territory stuff the Smithsonian's putting out there. And so I go to watch this, and now they have some Ethiopian who joined the IDF, Israeli Defense Forces, who now wants to be the congressional loudspeaker. She was a Democrat. Now she's a Republican. She's got Nassau County. Um, she doesn't even live in the Queens District. She's living in Nassau County. But yet, for some reason, she's trying to be congressionally elected and it's in my district where I'm with my father where my grandfather's house was and and she doesn't even claim to be an American but yet she's running for this seat and has the endorsement of the Republican Party in Nassau County so this is completely confusing for me as a novice and just observing and watching this and going oh I I don't even know how to process this level of information, honestly. Um, and just precedent to that story, they have a story about a power dip in a power company that works New York City called Con, we pronounce it Edison. So, en français, Con is with, and then... I mean, again, ED force being whatever it is, uh, it, it, some could pronounce it ED son, um, or ED son, uh, which again, I say Edison for a reason. Um, but I'm watching the story just precedent to this new announcement. And I'm just like, I, I don't understand how this woman even got on a ticket when she's not even an American. She's very clearly an immigrant 
uh, not an American, and I'm not voting for her. I don't even have a say if she gets on a ticket. I don't know how ticketing works or a ballot or any of those things. But if she's the representative for my area, she does not represent anything that I am. Again, I go to Zion um, Episcopal Church. That's the Red Cross where they sent me since a child for this area in this district. And there's so many counter like measures in this woman's visual presentation. And I'm like, uh, what do like who, where do you even call that level of concern into at this point? I, I don't know that answer. Um, but I'm still living here with one of my children. So that's, um, and we have history here and I'm available for the position, but the party hasn't contacted me either one. And I don't know how to apply for the position, but I don't understand why. And this is the area where I graduated high school. Like I have roots here. So I don't understand why I'm not even being called upon in order to join my district and be a mouthpiece for my district and and to be able to even participate in my district. All of that's really confusing to me right now. So this is what it looks like um, when it came on uh, the Channel 7 4 o'clock news on, I think it was December 15th, 2023. Service Commission ordering Con Ed to fully investigate the power dip that caused chaos around the city yesterday. A high voltage feeder failed around midnight along the Brooklyn waterfront. It caused a small fire and power to flicker throughout the region. But that flicker stranded some people in elevators and caused service disruptions in the subways. Most only noticed a quick dip in power. Con Ed says backups were quickly triggered, keeping the juice flowing. But some people in Manhattan who get steam from Con Ed were impacted. Con Ed then declared a steam system emergency, uh, but they have since begun restoration oper operations and there's no reported impacts to steam customers at this time. City officials say there were no major safety issues and Con Ed is still investing, get, investigating the cause of it. <laughs> New York Republicans today officially introduced their candidate to fill the seat vacated by disgraced former Congressman George Santos. Mozzie Pillip will run against Democrat Tom Swazi in February's special election for New York's 3rd Congressional District. Swazi, of course, previously held that very same post. Now, Pillip's background, meanwhile, already raising some eyebrows. Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne, alive this afternoon in Massapequa. Kristen? Sandra, the formal announcement was held just a few hours ago here at the American Legion in Massapequa. Here's the deal. Philip is a registered Democrat, but has the full support of the Republican Party. Mozzie Pillip is a Democrat, but she has the full support of, and this is going to sound odd, Republicans. She made it clear today her values align with theirs. I will stand up to the extremes who want to destroy our way of life, defunding the police, and weakening our criminal laws, and eliminating the state of Israel. Republicans have supported the great neck mother of seven ever since she ran for the Nassau County Legislature in 2021. Philip is a woman of Jewish faith. She was born in Ethiopia, but fled the country to Israel when she was 12 because of a civil war. She later joined the Israel Defense Forces. Our party is going to nominate an immigrant, a woman of color, a woman who is deeply religious, a woman who is a fighter, a woman who loves America. Philip is challenging fellow Democrat Tom Swazi for the congressional seat in New York's 3rd District. The seat is up for grabs now that former Congressman George Santos is out. Swazi held the seat for six years. He has said he wants to work day and night to deliver for the people and make lives more affordable, safer, and better. 
Phillips says she wants to do the same, and because of that, her political affiliation is irrelevant. I want to represent the interests of my community and be the voice for all. I wanted to ask Pillup some questions following the event, but afterwards she was whisked out of the building and was not able to take questions at all. In fact, I went after her and was blocked from leaving the building through an open door. And when I asked the press representative for the Republican Party here in Nassau County, why were we not allowed to ask her any questions? He at first said she had an appointment to get to and then later said that this was a rally, not a Q. A. We're live in Massapequa. I'm Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Kristen, thank you. The latest now on the crisis in the Middle East. The Israeli Defense Forces today admitting it mistakenly killed three Israeli hostages in So this is of great concern. Um, it poses questions I don't know who to ask. I don't know how to protect my children. Um, if she was fleeing a territory that was in the midst of a civil war, which is what the claim is on that piece being Ethiopia, I don't know what that war was over. I don't know how she got to Israel. I don't know why she would leave Israel and come here and then, ex and then be I mean, they use the words appointed, they use the word rally, uh, all of that, very disturbing to me. And is the, like, I mean, then there's things like trail of tears that come up, like, what, like, what were they civil warring over and her presence here in New York, how might that impact my safety an ability and future and that of my children. Um, all of these things are very concerning to me um, with this transplant and then is there transplant aggressions and is that following this person and why is she being um, endorsed and appointed when I went to high school here my i have we have roots in this area my family and so on and so forth and why am i not being called upon by statesmen or the federal or the whatever other words that they use at families um in order to like participate i mean it's it's almost like communication between me and what I long to communicate with have been completely cut off and I don't know when or how. Um, and I don't know how to restore it. I don't know what the process is. So that's where I'm at on this. And I'm 45 at this point, as far as age goes. So there is this, this category or this peer group, that I'm somehow dis like attached from that I want to be attached to. I just, I don't know how to find those attachments. Um, and 